Well, what's up? What's up, my beautiful soul subscribers? How y'all doing? It's your girl, Unknown Goddess. How is everyone doing? Okay, my soul subscribers, I would like to welcome every one of y'all back with love and light. Thank you for your continued support for my channel. Okay, really, truly appreciate y'all. I am not taking any personal readings until after the new year. All right, so if you are seeking one, that won't be taking place. All right, I've been getting emails for personal readings. Uh, but uh, I'll be getting, I'll, I'll be starting to take those after the new year. Okay. Um, if you, uh, if this is your first time joining, I welcome you with love and light to my beautiful A1 Day Ones. You already know what it is, baby. Thank you guys again for your love and your support. So let's pull some energy out here. Let's see what's going on. Let's, first of all, let's uh, light the sage out here and see what's good. Let me get my protection oil out of here these are handmade oils by my girl kajivi botanicals i'm gonna put her information in the description box below um, just natural organic oils to manifest you know love change protection whatever it is in your life mm -hmm. that's what her oils are this one is like a lemongrass lavender it smells so good but anyways i even buy my sage bundles from her all right, shout out to Kajavi Botanicals. Shout out, shout out. All right, so let's pull some uh, protection energy out here. Mother Isis, Father God. As I open these realms of messages, I ask that you protect my aura and my chakras. Yes. Give me clear, honest messages for those who need to hear it. Use me as a vessel. So mote it be. So mote it be. Yes, yes, yes. Hope you guys are starting off your week in a positive motivation. Okay, don't allow anyone to defer you from your plans. Okay, if you don't want anyone interrupting your vibes, keep your mouth shut. You only communicate with those who are a part of the team. Okay, yeah, team. All right, not this team. <laughs> All right, so let's get this energy popping, baby. Gonna use my favorite deck, the Uno deck. The Uno deck. You know that all represents the colors, represents the chakras, the color, the number, the numerology message, and you know, so on and so forth, baby. Even to me, it tells a lot. The Uno deck speaks that it's how it, it talks the business. You feel me? Yeah. All right, so let's pull the energy. <clears throat> all right, somebody's tapped in. Okay, all right. All right, now with this reverse energy out here. All right, somebody's definitely tapped in. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Somebody out here uh, going within and getting their spiritual guidance out here, manifesting their change. And I just say that somebody's keeping their business shut. They, but they, they mouth shut, keeping it to themselves. Okay, they going within. I feel like everything that they working on, like I said, whatever they putting out here, they keeping it to themselves. Okay, yeah, it's like they're putting that return on investment within self. Okay, yeah, I feel like somebody has let go of a karmic cycle out here and they're moving on. But I also pick up on somebody else who is coming back to you from your past, my collective. Who they feel this person feel like you and them are destined to be, or this is actually a twin flame connection. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody was using mastery out here to keep this person into a sword situation from moving on, but your person moved on. They're coming back though. This person is coming back. Also, I feel like when it comes to your work, your ideas, your manifestations, everything that you're working on, when it comes to your money, comes to your growth, um, your psychic abilities right now, whatever you're manifesting, your stability right now, yeah, you're working in silence. You're moving in silence. You're only working with those who can help you to ascend okay yeah you're definitely on that mastery and making those big changes out here for yourself so i'm picking up both energies out here my collective okay take what yeah there you go there you go that eight this person could be a scorpio who ended a situation out here all right or you could be the scorpio my collective all right yeah 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 somebody's out here working on a situation this because this is also your eight of pentacles out here so whatever you are manifesting you're manifesting generational wealth right now that's what you work working on definitely some of y'all are planning on traveling okay all right i feel like your person moved away from this relationship they're going within they're in isolation right now i feel like they're in solitude i should say 
they're in solitude yeah they let go of this karmic cycle right here they found the strength to move on yeah they're getting themselves in balance and they found a strength that strength card this person could be a, a scorpio they could have um fire in their chart cancer um yeah i'm hearing cancer pisces and scorpio um definitely this person could be a, a, a um earth sign as well okay mm-hmm could be an earth sign Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. And also picking up on this masculine energy, this emperor energy. Yeah, he definitely moved on. He's no longer working on a situation. He wants to come back and work on a situation with you. All right? But as well, this is business and this is a relationship as well. This is something you guys are working on within yourself. And like I said, you're working on that situation. Eight of Pentacles out here. Yeah, you're manifesting change and stability, honey. You're focused. All right, you breaking them generational cycles out here. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're doing. You letting go of those old karmic cycles. But somebody, this masculine also is leaving somebody in the past that he's no longer, he's not communicating with this person who he had a marriage with. Okay, yeah, because this masculine was married. Definitely. Okay, yeah, there it go. They're going to have four of wands right here. They're going to stability right here, four of wands. Okay, that's y'all too, my collective. The ones that's working. This is a 10 altogether. This is like a 10, all right? Somebody out here, I feel like whoever they were with, the person that they were with only wanted them for their money, okay? This person only got, this person was definitely under some um, compassionate spells, some love spells. That's what they had over this masculine holding him right here in this, in this, in this, in this marriage, right? Yeah, that's what they were doing. Mm -hmm. That's what they was doing. Yeah, they were. Yeah, they were. But see, this person is now moving forward. Yeah, they letting go of this cycle. They moving forward. Okay, they're working on their own situation right now, but they're in they're in isolation. Yeah, they moved on. Six of Swords right here. Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles energy. Yeah, they ended that cycle. All right, here go that ten all together. There it goes, the ten. Okay, somebody's manifesting a new stable a new stable beginning. All right, somebody's getting themselves grounded out here, my collective. Okay, I feel like some of y'all went through a divorce too. Or your person is the one that's going through a divorce to come back to you. Why do I feel nervous? Woo, yeah, honey, they got a lot of love for you. There it go. There go that emperor again. There go that ten again. There go that ten again. Okay. Yeah, they ended a cycle. They ended a marriage to move off to be with you. This person got a lot of love for you. This person could be a Sag. They could be an Aries. They could be an Aries with um with uh, Aquarius in their chart. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. But they brought that situation to a death. They done. Could this person really want a brand new beginning with you? They got that Ace of Wands. This person wants a brand new beginning with you. With this Nine of Cups energy, all this love and passion for you. Yeah, this person is in Hermit. But I also feel like you right here, my collective. You out here manifesting your own change and getting your own new beginnings going for yourself, my collective. For the ones that are working out here to manifest their changes in their brand new beginning. Okay, you working on that Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, that's what you out here manifesting with this Three of Wands energy. You waiting for your ships to come in. All right. So I feel like it's both energies out here. There's somebody that's leaving a marriage. They're in isolation. All right. In solitude, I should say. And they they working on their own situations right now. And I feel like they're going through a divorce, but they're waiting for a situation to come to a finale. OK. Yeah. They separating everything that they have in this home and this in this marriage and this commitment. OK. And for others, I feel like you out here manifesting your change, baby. You get into that ace of pentacles, baby. Yeah. That's what you're working on. Eight, nine. Yeah, baby. From a nine to a ten. There it go. Eight, nine and a ten. That's what you're doing out here. You're manifesting this ten of pentacles, baby. OK. And also, yeah, you out here manifesting your change. You a real magician out here, my collective. OK. Um. For the other, for that person that's leaving the marriage, this masculine who's moving forward, yeah, this person was using mastery on your person to keep them stuck, to keep them in this relationship. It was a fake love with this nine of cups. And as you see that red, that blood, this person was using blood magic on your person, on that ace of wands. There they go. They was using sex magic on your person. Yeah, they were. That was that fake love though. Okay. That's that fake love. Yeah, but your person is going through their transformation now. This masculine, this emperor, he's going through a transformation. He ended that. Okay? For others, like I said, it's work. You manifesting your change, baby. You waiting on this Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, baby. Those ideas, okay? They come into fruition, baby. They come into fruition. You are manifesting your changes out here to bring forth that tent. 
All right. So I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Eight of cups. There it go. This person walked away. All right. There it go. They brought that situation to a death. There go that scorpionic energy again. That tower. Yeah. They brought it to a death out here. All right. Yeah. This person who they left, they tied up in their mind now with this eight of swords right here. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. They trying to cause disasters and catastrophes right now, but that shit is blocked. That shit is blocked. Okay, your person is eight of cups. They walked away from that shit. They done. Yeah, there you go. There go that hierophant energy. There go that hierophant. For some of y'all, it's that there go that marriage. Yeah, go that five. That some of y'all are out here manifesting change. Whatever you're working on, honey, you getting you tapped in with this higher learning out here. Okay, learning something new out here. You tapping in with whatever your skills. Your uh, you're ascending. You're probably getting a degree in something out here. You know what I'm saying? I, I um, I'm here a life coach. Okay. I'm hearing life coach. Okay. That's what you're working on out here. So something in regards to school out here, how you're learning and as well as a divorce, some type of commitment out here is ending. This person walked away. There we go. They walking away. They ending that shit. They ending that. Okay. Yeah, for sure. For sure. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now, mm -hmm, there you go. This person gained the independence. There go that nine of pentacles. And there you go, my collective. You out here manifesting your changes out here. There you go to that nine of pentacles. Didn't I tell you from a nine, manifesting your stability out here? You're learning something new. Here it is. It's about learning again. This is both about learning and making change. It's all about inevitable change. That five and that nine represents definite, definite change. Okay? All right, now. So I feel like that's what y'all are doing out here. Y'all definitely got the endurance, baby. Yeah, baby. Out here, I take this wild card as you out here changing the game. You, that's that queen of wands, king of wands energy. Yeah, that's that emperor, empress energy. Yeah, baby. You got the endurance, baby. That's that nine of pentacles. I love it. Also, with your person, they gained their independence. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. Okay, now. I also, I'm also picking up with this magician energy and this swapping energy all right somebody want to come out here and give you an equal give and take they do they want to offer you this commitment this person walked away from this situation over here yeah and they walked away but they want to come back and give you this commitment right here like i picked up earlier this person want to come back to you okay for some of y'all it's a higher learning out here you out here manifesting that bread that money some of y'all are going back to school for some type of degree out here okay yeah 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 um, that other person, yeah, they want to exchange hands with you. Okay. This person right here, they want to exchange, they want to swap hands with you. They want to give an equal give and take with you. Okay. Um, also with this, um, with this eight right here, this mastery. Okay. And this, this magician energy, somebody was out here working with this magician who know how to manifest this, who know how to tap in. Who know how to tap into this hermit energy right here to manifest this fake love for this person who they were with, who this emperor was with. But it ain't working. It ain't working. No, 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 it ain't working. Your person moved on. There you go that six of swords again. All right? Yeah, yeah. Somebody's moving on. They blocking this karmic. There it go. They ended that cycle. There it go. There go that karma. There go that judgment. Mm-hmm. Mm hmm. Because whatever they do, whatever they out here manifesting is returning onto them. So whoever they out here working with. Yeah. Whatever they doing, they, this person already done walked away. This person already walked the fuck away. All right. Now, this could be a Scorpio. Two Scorpios out here, okay? But it's a death. It's a, it's, it's over. It's done. Whatever they out here manifesting is returning onto them. That's why they in this two of swords energy. They in confusion right now. They keep doing it over and over. It's like every time they put it out there, it returns onto them. Every time they put that spell out there again, it returns onto them. Every time they do it again, it returns onto them. Yeah, it's stuck on them. There it go. They out here trying to be sneaky and manipulating. Yeah, that's what they trying to do. They trying to manipulate a situation out here. But every time they do it, it returns onto them. Ain't that a bitch? Huh? Yeah. This person, this relationship is over. And this person real, they fought. They, yeah, they out here trying to pull this spell. They trying to manifest change out here. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. <laughs> they trying to use this spell work out here. They wilding with it too. They out here wilding with it too. But every time they do it, it fucking returns onto them. 
Every time they do that magic, it's, it goes right back to sender. Return. Reverse. It's in the upright. You already know when you play this card in Uno, you play that card no matter which way, but it's in the upright because you see my words. Yeah, it return on to sender. Stay with that confusion. Stay right there. This person is tight up in their fucking mind. They With this Eight of Swords, they tight. All right? They keep fucking around to whatever they whatever they trying to do out here, trying to cause any type of conflicts. They go end up getting arrested. Okay? They're going to end up getting arrested. I feel like some of them did get arrested this past Thanksgiving. I feel like this situation took place this past Thanksgiving. Mm. Yeah, they tight. They can't figure this shit out. They don't understand because this spell work that they trying to pull, this, magi this magic right here, it ain't manifesting. Nah. 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 It ain't manifesting. Nah. Okay. Um, also, my collective, the one the, for the one that's working on a situation out here. Okay. For the one that's out here manifesting their money, they 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 finances, they changes out here away from this relationship. Cause there's two different energies out here. There's somebody definitely tapped in and aligned with their spiritual gift. You already know what you want, baby, but you're keeping everything to yourself. You're keeping everything to yourself. You already know what you're putting out here is what you want back in return. So you don't want nobody fucking with your work situation. You don't want nobody messing with your stability. You're getting yourself out here grounded. Yeah, that's what you out here doing, okay? And you're loving yourself doing it well, okay? Yeah, you notice the changes ever since you stand on your own, okay? You see the changes coming right here, all right? You see yourself in this Ten of Pentacles. It's like you're imagining this, okay? So this is what you're doing right here. That's the ones that's out here independent, uh-huh, out here in this Nine of Pentacles. You securing your bag out here for sure, for sure. You absolutely loving yourself with this Nine of Cups, okay? You putting that love into yourself. And ever since you start putting this love into yourself, you starting to see the changes come for you, okay? This is this Ten of Cups, Ten of Pentacles energy, right? Yeah, definitely got the endurance, okay? Some of y'all out here uh, teaming up uh, study buddies, okay? Y'all are working with people out here, you know, like y'all are doing study groups out here, okay? Exchanging information, exchanging hands, getting the knowledge that you need to get, Okay, for the other one, they waiting for something to come to a finale. But this person is definitely single. They absolutely single. King of Wands, Queen of Wands energy. Okay, yeah, but this person out here is still trying to pull mastery from this person from moving forward. They don't want this judgment to happen. They don't want this situation to end. Okay, but your person already ended it. So the Ten of Swords, they moving on. They manifesting their changes. Okay, they definitely avoiding this person so they can keep get themselves grounded. All right, that's what they're doing. This person already walked away from this marriage. They gained their independence. It's right here. All right. That's for that marriage situation. But this one out here is still trying to wild. This one out here, they tied up in their fucking mind and they're getting their judgment. Eight of swords and they keep fucking. I feel like they all tight arrested as well. Some of them is going to get end up getting locked up because they out here trying to cause some type of conflict out here towards this single masculine. They trying to cause some type of conflict. Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. I feel like they trying to pay somebody out here. To cause a disaster on this masculine. Yeah, he's right here, single, independent, doing his own thing. But they trying to cause some type of chaos and upheaval with this five of wands, five of swords energy. This person is bitter and envious, but that this masculine walked away from them. Ended that. They didn't expect that shit. This masculine is woke, woke. Okay? But whatever they doing, yeah, they stuck with that shit. Whatever they doing is being returned on to them. They getting their judgment. They getting their karma. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. Okay? Yes, they are. Yes, the fuck they are. Whatever magic they out here manifesting is being returned onto them. Yes, it is. All right? This masculine right here, he's in hermit. He's in hermit. He moves forward. He's within right now. He's avoiding all this conflict because he's, he's protecting himself. All right? He's getting him spiritual guidance. He's listening to his intuition as well. Okay, and he's busy focused and working on himself. He's gained his strength. They can no longer influence this masculine anymore. Okay, yeah, they can no longer influence his 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 his, his, his choices. They can't no longer influence his destiny anymore. Okay, he's too busy working on himself right now. This is what he's doing right now. He's working on himself. Okay, while he's waiting for this judgment to come to a finale. Okay, yeah, he's waiting for this divorce right here to come to a finale. But in the meantime, he's single. He walked away. Okay? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what's going on out here. Yeah, whatever love magic they out here trying to pull, whatever blood magic they were using, yeah, that masculine freed himself. Ace of Wands, Spirit gave him a brand new beginning. That's that Ace of Wands. They was using that love magic to keep him in this family situation with that Ten of Cups right here. But that shit ain't working no more. Whatever they out here manifesting out here to manifest a change, that mastery ain't working. They tied up in their fucking mind because it's being reversed. Goodbye. They ain't getting the change that they want. They go that nine. They out here working twice as hard. And they all up in their emotions right now. She's pissed off. Yeah, she's pissed. Yeah, she is. She's pissed. Because this love spell ain't working. It ain't manifesting the change that she wants. They go that nine and that nine. It ain't coming to a finale. It ain't coming to the change that she wants. This is an inevitable change. So whatever she out here trying to stop, nine, nine. It's still moving on. The, 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 she can't stop this masculine's beginning new, brand new beginnings that spell work ain't working she getting her judgment yeah there you go lack of direction baby right there it ain't happening move on justice is being served out here things are being balanced to this masculine with this two of wands to move on okay that's what he already did he walked away he ate a cups her ass okay he blocking her and she fuck around she gonna end up getting arrested cause I feel like she's trying to come with this five of swords energy because this masculine walking away she don't like that he's independent right here. She don't like that he gained his strength and her holding up against her. She don't like this shit. Because she know where he's destined to be. Okay? Yeah, so whoever she out here working with, exchanging y'all pitches or his pitches with hers, trying to get this love magic going, it ain't going to work, baby. It ain't going to work. She needs to stop. She needs to stop. It ain't going to work. It ain't going to work. Mm -mm, mm -mm. She out here heavily trying to wild out right here and trying to manifest change. Uh-huh, that's what she trying to do. That's what she trying to do. Because she know this divorce is coming. It's over. This judgment is coming. He made up his mind. He made an absolute decision. You see that he made an absolute decision. He ain't playing with her. He wants this divorce. Yeah, he does. We're going to pull the tarot on here. How long I've been on here? Yeah. And whatever she out here trying to manifest, this is what she's paying. She's paying this magician to do this mastery. But whatever she's doing is returning on to her death. That eight is that death. It's over. It's done. You can't use this love magic anymore. Whoever this magician is, she's trying to manifest with this 11 right here and this mastery right here. But she tied up in her fucking mind because it's done. It's dead. This magician is lying to her. They know this change ain't going to happen. They know this change ain't going to happen. They're just taking her money. They're just taking her money. She out here trying to give this magician her and her mask, her and the masculine's picture to exchange. Yeah, exchanging pictures, trying to pull this love spell right here, thinking they're gonna come back to be in this happy ten of cups, happy ten of successful. So it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. Cut it out. It ain't working. Stop it. Stop it. That's over. Okay, that cycle is over. It's dead. It's over. Okay, stop it. Stop trying to pull this spell work. It's over. Get over yourself. So let's pull the tarot on this berry, baby. Let's see what's going on. Because I feel like there's two energies out here. Okay. There's definitely two energies out here. Somebody's definitely absolutely loving themselves. Okay. You feeling really powerful within yourself right now. Whatever you out here studying, you're working hard for you and your family, honey. That's what you're doing together. You know what I'm saying? That's what you're doing out here. And like I said, you're keeping everything to yourself. Okay. Yeah. You don't want nobody coming projecting their negative thoughts onto you. Yeah. You don't want nobody interrupting your vibe, right? Because you're feeling good right now. You endure too much to get yourself to this nine of pentacles secure to get yourself to stable. Okay. Put too much love in yourself. A lot, manifested a lot of changes within yourself. Okay, learn how to forgive yourself. And for those who didn't even, never, ever, will ever tell you sorry for you to get to this Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, take action in your life and get them stable new beginnings going for you. So you taking them opportunities, whatever this higher learning is. Okay, that's what you're doing right here with this Ace of Wands, my collective. So that's a whole nother energy. Somebody's out here manifesting their change and there's a masculine out here that's letting go of this karmic. So we're going to pull that energy up on that. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, somebody's out here manifesting a brand new beginning. Okay? That's it. That's them new possibilities. That's what you're out here waiting on, baby. All right? And I feel like this masculine is also coming back in to apologize to you because they're coming in to offer you this commitment. All right now. All right now. Yeah, they got that Eight of Pentacles, baby. And that's stability. Didn't I tell you? Here go that Eight of Pentacles and that's stability. Didn't I tell you that's what you out here working on? That's what you out here working on. There go that Eight of Pentacles right here, baby. There we go. Brand new possibilities. 
There go that ace of wands. Somebody's manifesting their stability out here and everything that you are working for, Spirit says, it is well earned and deserved. You well earned it. You earned this shit. This 10 of pentacles, 10 of cups, you deserve this. All right? Yeah, baby. Yeah. Okay? You took them lemons and turned it and you made it into uh, uh, lemonade, baby. You turned them lemons into lemonade. You worked on that shit. All right? So now people, Spirit said, these brand new beginnings are coming. Just keep going, honey, because... Keep following your intuition, all right? You're on, you on the right path, honey, because everything you're working for, everything that you are working for, that whatever you are crafting out here, whatever skills you got out here crafting, whatever it's your entrepreneur skills, whatever you do in my collective, it's going to bring this Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Cups. It's going to bring success, definitely success, okay? Whatever your ideas are, your creative ideas, it's going to bring that success, okay? Yes, yes, yes. I told you this emperor too, this masculine, he's coming back. He's working on this situation, all right? I feel like he's waiting for something to come to a finale because he was married with this person. He had a home with this person, okay? A commitment with this person, all right? But he's coming back. He already right here, single, independent, doing the damn thing. All right. He doing his own thing. That's that King of Wands energy. He moved off. They go that Emperor. He ended that cycle. They go that 10. He ended this family situation. He's done. All right. Yeah. He closed out that shit. He ain't playing with this karmic. He's over it. Okay. So like I said, he's busy working on his shit and he's waiting to clear up everything in this home that he built with this karmic. There it go. There go that four of wands. Okay. There it go. She was never meant to be in his life. There go the lovers, okay? Could be dealing with a Gemini out here. Yeah. All right? Yeah. He's done with that shit. He's, oh, he wants to come back in and offer that stability to you. This person wants to offer marriage to you. This could be a twin. This is a twin flame energy out here. All right? Now, yeah. Some of y'all, when y'all come back together, if we're all who can still procreate, you, you're going to end up pregnant with this masculine's baby. You're going to end up pregnant with this baby, okay? You're going to end up with a baby. All right? Now... Yeah, he let go. He let go of that burdens. He knew this person was never his true love, okay? Yeah, this past this person is a karmic lover. This person was never honest. This person only brought disharmony. They never brought any peace. They only brought burdens, and your person got tired of that shit. Now they fucking hurt. This person is going through their ten of wands right now. They fucking hurt right now. Yeah, nine of wands. They feeling like a wounded warrior because they stuck. They stuck. This karmic is feeling stuck. Everything that they are out here manifesting, yeah, they trying to fuck with your, they trying to fuck with this, your, uh, your person's money. They try to fuck with their love life, everything. But whatever they out here manifesting, didn't I tell you they stuck? I told you that love spell ain't working. That's what they out here trying to pull this love spell. It ain't working. It ain't working. It's a reverse. That's why they feel heavy out here. They feeling like a wounded warrior because the more they do it, the more they project it, the more burdens they fall and the more they spiritually bound to this shit. Okay? That karmic is bound. I know what I'm talking about. There it go. Everything they do is being reversed. Okay? Yeah. Stay right there. Hold that. Yeah, because your spirit guys is out here. Yes, spirit God is out here, okay? For the other ones out here, um, yeah, you right here manifesting your changes out here, my collective. You getting yourself in balance, baby. You push true. You push through. You persevered. Okay, you persevered to make them changes. You manifested them changes, baby. And you always knew, even though, <clears throat> even though you were sometimes right here in your head, my collective, wondering when the fuck, you know, working on this situation. You know, you feel like you've been putting in all this hard work out here, okay? With this eight of pentacles out here, but you had the strength though, baby. You had the endurance. You had the strength. Here we go with that nine of pentacles. Sometimes it was tight. You got confused in your mind sometimes. Sometimes you would start thinking negative shit. But you know, the longer you stay right here and put that work in and exchange what you put out is what you get back. Okay? There it is, baby. I can't lie. There go that higher learning. You realize what I put out here is what I'm going to get back. Let me just keep persevering and do what I got to do because I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. I can see my victory at the end of the tunnel. So I'm going to keep persevering. I'm going to launch forward. I'm going to keep launching forward because I'm going to get myself in balance. And that's what you do in my collective. There it go. And Spirit says everything that you work for or you're working for, it is well earned. It is well deserved. Okay? It's well deserved. Your person also feel like you're well deserving of everything that you are worthy of, my collective, because you are divine masculine, divine feminine. Okay, you are absolutely living in your life's purpose. Okay, you are definitely do the work of the Most High, and that whatever mastery some of y'all do out here, y'all do readings out here for some of y'all. Okay, y'all get those messages from the Most High. That's what y'all do for work. <laughs> y'all tapped in. Okay, with that mastery, here go Page of Pentacles, baby. Okay, there it is. That's what y'all do for work. They go to Eight of Pentacles twice. You got the foresight out here. You can see what's good. You got the foresight. You could do future readings with that Three of Wands. All right, now, 
Okay, you're a powerful manifestator out here. For sure, for sure. All right? Yeah, y'all use that mastery as your gift. That's the messages that you get from, you get those messages from the most high. All right? Yeah, yeah. And this is what this karmic was out here using. They was using this mastery. They working together with somebody with this three of pentacles energy as well. Yeah, they out here. But this mask, like I said, he already moved on. Eight of cups. He already walked away from that situation. Okay? He's in high isolation. That's that nine. He's in isolation. He's standing alone. Okay? He's standing alone. So that's dead. That's done. They can't even use that mastery. Everything that they're doing is returning onto them. That's why they feel fucking stuck and miserable and burdened right now. Because that mastery ain't working. It ain't working. It ain't working. If they trying to wound this love, trying to wound you, his lover, it ain't working. Stop it. It's fell in reverse. They hurting themselves. Cut it out. Yeah, there it is. They feeling ill. They feeling fucking sick. Yeah, that's what they doing. They feeling sick. There they go. They obsessed and feeling miserable. But they missing their opportunity with this masculine. That spell work ain't working. They cannot get this masculine to come back and be attached to them. So they acting possessive and controlling right now. Very obsessive. But Spirit is like, the more you act out, the more we gonna hold you down with these burdens. You're burdening yourself. Stop acting obsessive. Stop trying to have this masculine miss its opportunities because they misery. There it go. You see that illusion? You see that Ace of Cups coming through the mirror? That's the illusion. That's the magician spell work. But it ain't working no more. It's attached to them. To the point where it got them fucking sick. And that's their karma. There it go. There go their judgment. There it go. So they can't stop you. Okay? For some of them it was. There it go. There go that king of pentacles. Didn't I tell you? They only wanted this man for his money. All right now. And as well, my collective, this is you. You're a boss, baby. You're securing yourself. And like I said, you're keeping everything to yourself. You're in hermit. You're protecting yourself. You're going within and getting those spiritual guidance. Doing the self-reflecting on how to get yourself to this boss status. You're working only with people or studying with people who, you know, like I said, study group. I'm picking up study group out here. All right. You guys are looking to graduate 2022 class or whatever you're doing online. Okay. You're about to, you, you getting on that, whatever you out here working on and crap crafting my collective okay you got the endurance baby you almost did don't stop eight of pentacles nine of pentacles don't stop keep working on your craftsmanship whatever you out here doing it's going to bring stability and success all right yeah it's going to bring this abundance it's going to bring this abundance yes it will so it's, it's, hold steadfast okay hold the faith Hold that faith. Don't you let go. Go within and get that spiritual guidance. Hold the faith, okay? Yeah, keep working with those who can help you to manifest this change, all right? Yeah, you keep doing that. You keep doing that. For that king of pentacles, like I said, he's in hermit, okay? He's in isolation away. He's avoiding this conflict. Yes, he is. He gained his independence, and he's moving away. He was providing for this karmic. Yes, he was. He was the provider, okay? But there he go. He's secure, baby. All right, so I'm picking up both energies. All right, he's in isolation, and you out here working on the bag, baby. You out here working on the bag, and he's in her, and he's in hermit. Okay, and I feel like everything that you're doing, like I said, you know, whatever you put out is what you go get back, and you're keeping all your thoughts, all your ideas, how to manifest your change, and at the same time, you're doing healing with that nine of cups, honey, loving yourself. Okay with that self-reflecting and healing that's what you're doing as well my collective but with this king of pentacles he also yeah you working on your stability boo boo you manifesting them change 99 baby 99 massive change and it's good change okay you're learning a lot you're learning a lot about yourself being in this hermit energy away from people who ain't serving your higher good all right yeah you are and whatever you doing baby when you bust out of the motherfucking pack that success is gonna be here because like i said spirit says this is well earned well-deserved success okay as well as this king of pentacles yeah he's definitely in hermit energy honey yeah he's waiting for this to come to a finale this divorce that's what he's doing okay yeah 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 he's waiting for this to come to a finale whatever stability they had whatever they built whatever this foundation this root this root chakra yeah here it is in this marriage that they had in this home yeah they're waiting for this to come to a finale yeah definitely for sure but he's definitely single this king of pentacles this emperor he's single he's on his own he definitely moved on with that two of wands he moved on he's launching forward baby okay yeah absolutely so that's what i have for you my soul subscribers let's let's um let's pull the uh message of love oracle this is for both energy okay for yourself and for that masculine okay there go that retreat time alone in nature there go that hermit time alone in nature my collective all right here it is this is what this person is doing in retreat 
This is you. You only worry. You only focused on your inner growth right now, healing and taking yourself to a higher level right now. That's what you're doing. That's what your masculine, this masculine is doing as well. Okay. In that retreat, you you working on your stability, honey. You want to be stable out here. Okay. And not only that, but you're healing yourself and you're holding the faith while you're doing it. Spirit says the, the abundance is coming. Don't you worry because you can still see the light at the end of the tunnel, honey. Yes, you can. You know, all that you're going through right here in this healing and feeling maybe some of y'all feeling like a wounded warrior with that nine of wands right here. Here it is. Okay. You're not feeling too stable. Spirit says you set them healthy boundaries. That's what this masculine is doing too. That's why he's in isolation right here. He set them healthy boundaries so he can heal. You did too, my collective. All right. Now. And you're going to launch forward. You're determined. This is determination right here, baby. You're going to conquer all that you. they said that you couldn't do. You're going to do it no matter what. You're going to be victorious. You're launching forward. And you've endured a lot. Whatever you out here learning, whatever you out here mastering this winter, it was slow and steady growth, baby. But you, you, you're, it's, it's like Spirit says, it's going to be well deserved because you're putting in that hard fucking work. Yeah, you are. And Spirit says you are holding the faith in doing so and learning how to love yourself and forgive those who would never say I'm sorry, but that's all right. You got to learn to forgive you. Okay. And that's what you're doing right here in this hermit, as well as this King of Pentacles. And I like it. Yeah. You are definitely realizing how powerful you are. You're definitely realizing the new opportunities and possibilities that are out there for you, my collective. Okay. Yeah. And I like that. So that's why you're retreating and spirit says, hold the patience because everything will unfold in divine time. And you feel me? Yeah. Yeah. Everything will unfold in divine timing. You're going to see the fruits of your labor. All that hard work and then endurance, baby. You got it. You got it. That's a 10-10. Where is that? That's a 10-10 when you think about it. Huh? Look at this. 10. 10. 10 is all over the boards. This is just change. 8. Pushing forward. Closing out cycles. Yeah, got the endurance, the stability, the endurance, the stability, the security, got the spiritual enlightenment. Yeah, somebody out here that I told you that karma, they stuck. They out here fucking stuck. And for the ones that feel like you're stuck uh, on, on trying to pursue your own happiness, Spirit says don't, just have the patience, baby. Have the patience, continue to hold the faith. Keep launching forward because you can see the light at the end of the tunnel. You keep launching forward, you ain't stuck. You out here learning something. Spirit needs you to see something for some of y'all, okay? Spirit needs you to see something. So that's why Spirit is making you go slow. Take time, all right? Take time. Get to know each other. This King of Pentacles wants to do that with you. He wants to come back and offer you the stability, security, okay? Spirit says, don't you worry because you're about to be this boss. Don't you worry. Keep manifesting, baby. Keep believing in the power within yourself, all right? Oh, oh, oh. All right. This relationship can stand the test of time. Stability, baby. All right. This King of Pentacles, I told you, they're coming back to offer you marriage. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. There it go. They want a family with you. They want commitment with you. Okay. They want to offer you something stable. Okay. Yeah. They want a second chance. It says this relationship deserves a second chance. There it go. There it go. All right. Because that karmic only had them under that strictly sexual. I told you that was that sex magic. I know what I'm talking about. That Ace of Wands, where's that number? Yeah, she had this man on the sex magic. That's what it, that's what she was using to manifest him to stay right here. But he done moved on. There it go. It was only strictly sexual. All right. For some of y'all, maybe y'all was with a person that was only it was only a strictly sexual relationship, and you had to bring that shit to a fucking end. Okay. I feel like some of y'all, when y'all left, y'all found out y'all was pregnant. Okay. Or just pregnant with new ideas since this person, since you let go of this person. Started loving yourself. You tired of this person back and forth feeling like it's just a strip. Yeah, this is what they wanted to do. They kept wounding you, kept hurting you. Yeah, some of y'all found out y'all was pregnant for this person when you decided to set them healthy boundaries and move the fuck on. Okay? Or just strictly, or just passionate about your new ideas, the new possibilities. Some of y'all went back to school to get yourself focused, to gain back that stability like I said right here. There it goes, stability. Some of y'all, it's a relationship. Some of y'all, it's just going back to school, getting yourself in a higher learning. Uh, some of y'all are worried about what's going to happen, what's, what's next. But Spirit says, hold the faith. Go slow, okay? Don't worry about it. We're giving you the enlightenment, but you just got to be patient, okay? You're getting the enlightenment, okay? You're going to figure out how to pursue your happiness because this is why you're being hung right here. But Spirit says, go slow and be patient. Be patient. There's something that you need to see. 
There's something that you need to see or something that you still need to let go of and heal. Okay? Yeah, because it's still a burden for some of y'all. And Spirit says it's time to put it to rest. Okay? If you're stressing about your money, your finances, your stability, Spirit is like, Spirit is like, don't worry. All right? I feel like with this, put this forward. So it's right here. Put your trust in us. Keep launching forward. Still hold the faith. Don't worry about it. We got your back. Hold the faith with that high faith. Keep doing what you're doing. We got your back. Can't you see the victory there? Keep your eye on the prize anyways. Keep launching forward. Even though sometimes it feels burdensome, you want to put it to rest, and it feels heavy, Spirit says, hold that faith. Keep moving. All right? Patience is a virtue. Keep moving. All right now. Keep moving. Don't stop. You got it. This is a destined partnership and fate. Where you're headed, it's your fate. Okay? Where you're headed... It's your fate for the partnership for that King of Pentacles who's coming back to you, to, to my collective. This is a destined partnership. OK, definitely a destined partnership. Second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. OK, yeah, yeah. And it says forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. Didn't I tell you with this nine right here? And it's because it's the red, the root chakra. Yeah, somebody is healing themselves. It also has to do with the love, passion, learning new things, gaining, uh, ma manifesting the change. You know what I'm saying? Learning self-forgiveness, learning that people who are around you who are very selfish and all about themselves. Some of them that you had to let go of them, they had a drinking problem. OK, I feel like you would try to sit there with this person, but this drinking problem, you couldn't you didn't have the patience to be around this person anymore. You got tired of seeing them ill, tired of seeing them drink themselves to a sickness. You got tired of it. Some of them even passed away from drinking cirrhosis of the liver is what I'm hearing. That that was just, whoa, yeah, 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 yeah. Somebody passed away from this. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The eight is out here twice. Somebody transitioned onto another world. So it's out here three times, actually, along with the hermit. Yeah, somebody passed away or is about to. OK, yeah, somebody's about to pass away. And I feel like on their dying bed, this is when this person wants forgiveness. This is this just came out of nowhere. All right. Yeah, somebody's about to pass. Yeah, they're in a hospital right here. You see this higher friend, this place of institution. Yeah, somebody's about to pass away. And I feel like on their dying bed, they, they're, they're asking for forgiveness for whatever they've done. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. I don't know who's that for, but somebody's about to pass away. And I see them right here on their, their bed. They're, they're, they're about to leave this world. Okay, they're about to leave and they're they're asking for forgiveness. I don't know who this is. I don't know if this is a father figure, a husband. A, I don't know. Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, this person is ill. Nine of Wands. Yeah, this person is sickly. I feel like they've been sickly for a very long time. Four Swords. Yeah, somebody's ill. Somebody's passing away. Okay, yeah. My condolences. Yeah, but they're asking for forgiveness before they go. Yeah, because they know they're dying. This person is asking for forgiveness and they're learning how to forgive themselves too. They let, they, 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 they're going within. They're doing some self-reflecting. All right, and they're trying to heal the situation before they pass on. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. A, 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 a. They're trying to work on situations and make things right. They're trying to clear all that negativity out. Eight of Swords. Yeah, Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords out here twice. Okay, because they're getting their judgment. Okay? Uh, yeah, they're letting go of all the negative thoughts. Okay? So that's a whole nother energy as well, my collective. Yep. Yep, somebody's exchanging their 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 words and somebody's showing pictures and I feel like with the exchanging and swapping, I feel like that's that that's that that's that um that's that eight of pentacles. Whatever they worked for right now, this person wants to leave something behind um for making up for not being there in this person's life or even in your life, my collective. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The lovers is out here and the hangman is out here. Okay. So this person, this, 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 this father figure picking up on a king of pentacles, that king of pentacles could be the one that's passing. And this, and there's a lot on his mind with those burdens. There's a lot on his mind. 
There's absolutely a lot on his mind with the Eight of Swords. Eight of Swords out here, he's tight. Okay, I feel like with the Eight of Swords and the Karma, he's getting his judgment. He's passing, but he's on his dying bed. And I feel like with the King of Pentacles, he's feels like he, with this Eight, this Ten of Wands, he's he's leaving things behind. Now he feels like if he, you know, I feel like he's working on his finances out here. Yeah, because he left your mother to be a single mom for many years and never did anything for you. My collective. I feel like with the lovers in reverse and the page of cups. Your mom, this female energy had to endure on her own. She had to secure herself since she was pregnant with you. Yeah, 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 yeah. And now this person is passing, this King of Pentacles, he's passing away and he's seeking forgiveness now. Now he wants to exchange all that he worked for and share and, and leave something behind. Yeah, yeah, he wants to leave something stable for you behind now. Yeah, because he's about to pass. Um, my condolences are this person already passed, but they've been wounded. They've been hurt very sickly for a very long time. They've been very sick for a long time feel like they had a drinking a problem they had a drinking addiction or yeah could that root chakra with this red out here in this in this nine of wands that root chakra represents like the adrenaline glands the blood the feet the skeletal the hip the teeth the nails the rectum the spine you know what i'm saying the lower back yeah yeah I feel like it's cirrhosis of the love, liver or something of that nature, but their health was not healthy. Yeah, this person is going on their final, they're on their final, their final bed. Like they're on their deathbed. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. And they're seeking forgiveness right now. Yeah, they are. They're on their deathbed. They know they're about to pass on. They know they're about to pass on. There you go with that four swords and hermit. Yeah, this person know they're about to pass on. And I feel like they feel ashamed right now. They're feeling a lot of guilt. Yeah, they're f they feeling karma. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because they knew they could have helped you as a child growing up. But they made you miss a lot of opportunities. Yep, and they made a lot of unfulfilled promises too as a child. Okay, they didn't give you this ace of cups, the love, the abundant love that they should have gave you as a parent. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. No, they did not. No, they did not. And they knew they was in the position to take care of you. But now it's a burden to them. That's why they want forgiveness. That's why they want to leave something behind for you now. They know they should have been exchanging and sharing something with your mother, right? They knew they left your mother out here pregnant or they left you out here pregnant, my collective. Take it how it resonates, okay? But somebody's passing on out here. Somebody's leaving this world. Somebody's leaving. And they're getting their karma and their judgment and they're feeling tight up in their mind right now. It's like they 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 can't go they can't pass on with this misery. They gotta put it to rest. It's like they can't pass on with this misery and the guilt. They gotta speak their truth. Yeah, they can't put it to rest. Because they know they should have been taking care of that ace of cups, that child. They know. But they played with this illusion as if they wasn't it wasn't theirs. It wasn't their responsibility. Okay, yeah, yeah. And they and they caused a lot of grief and misery and that they could have avoided if they was responsible in your life. They didn't want to work on that situation. Now they want to work on that situation. That's what they want to do. That's what they want to do. All right, my collective, but that's that forgiveness, okay, with yourself forgiving this person if they passed away or if they are passing away i said earlier you guys are forgiving yourself and forgiving those that never apologized to you okay but now this person do want to apologize okay now they do want to apologize because i feel like they passing um as well as that person that that single imp king of pentacles yeah he wants to come back he's in isolation all right and for some of y'all y'all need to heal i feel like some of y'all let go of a relationship when y'all was pregnant or this is was your mother this was your mother and your father's passing or something to do with your grandfather. It's a father figure out here that's passing or somebody that left your mom pregnant for her to endure on her own. Yeah. She had to secure herself on her own out here and manifest change on her own. And then at the same time, try to make y'all happy. 
this is a lot that's a whole nother reading but you know take what resonates my collective okay yeah 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 i feel like some of them they're dying so they want to get to know you now that they're dying because they're going slowly this person is slowly dying okay yeah yeah but their consciousness is eating them okay and i feel like they suffered some somebody was drink had some type of drinking addictions out here too somebody was drinking a lot heavily okay that's where their money went that's where their money went into their drinking okay but now that they're dying they want they want to get to know you wow and i feel like some of y'all are pissed i feel like y'all are like why the fuck you want to get to know me now now you want to come and get to know me? And a lot of y'all are sitting here right here like, yeah, you missed many opportunities in my life with me. I missed a lot of opportunities. My mom couldn't afford to do this to me because you didn't even want to help. Now you want to get to time, get to time to get to take the time to get to know me. Some of y'all are not with it. Some of y'all are not with it. Some of y'all are not with it. You're like, nah, you can stay right there on that sick bed and die on your own. Oh, wow. 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 You wounded me as a child growing up. You was never there for me. Now you here dying. You want to free your burdens. You want to free your conscience. You want to come and talk to me? No, nah, I'm good. Some of y'all going to keep up in boundaries because y'all still feel hurt and wounded. And spirit is like, yo, go within and heal because this is something that's carrying since you was a child. Okay, something that's been attached to you since you was a child that this father figure or whoever this person that's passing away was never there for you. Some of y'all are losing your mother and now this father figure will take the time to get to know you. It's like they're showing up at the funeral like, who the fuck, what the fuck you coming around for now? My mom passed away. You're dying. Now you want to get to know me? Wow, this is deep, my collective. But Spirit says just, you know, maybe you should get the time to get to know each other. Maybe it will help you to heal. Okay? Get yourself out of this wounded warrior energy. Let go of the burdens and make those changes. It's time to put it to rest. Okay? It's time to put it to rest. That's a whole nother. So that's three different energies out here in my collective. All right. Yeah. That's that forgiveness. This karmic was only holding on to that masculine because it was only strictly sexual magic. The other one, y'all are on y'all faith. Y'all on y'all destined path for the karmic that was trying to hold on to your masculine. Y'all are destined to be. That's that second chance. And I feel like that person who is passing or who has passed away for you, this person showed up now that this person passed away for you or this person is dying. They want a second chance to get to know you. They want forgiveness. OK, because they, they feel like they can't they can't pass on or whoever passed on for you. They, they feel they feel guilty. With this nine of wands, yeah, they feel wounded. They feel like they should have been there for you. For which for, uh, they feel like they should have been there for you since you was a child, but they left all these burdens on your mother and wounded you and her. Okay, or this is them right now. This is them right now. They they want a second chance with you. So take it how it resonates, my collective. Take it how it resonates. There's a there's a there's a uh, mother. Uh, there's a parent child parent relationship out here there's a karmic um that's trying to hold on to the masculine to stop him from coming into this destined fate with you and there's somebody out here that is working on manifesting their changes out here and getting into higher learning crafting their um their skills and spirit says don't worry about it just be patient you're about you working on that situation to become a boss everything is in your favor you will get the stability that you are working on keep whatever you out here mastering your ideas in this higher friend energy keep working on that that success is coming for you okay yeah that success is coming for you all right yeah this karmic whoever is trying to um i feel like that karmic is the person that's passing away and i also feel like that karmic is that person who your your masculine is leaving okay who's acting very obsessive right now okay and they're feeling fucking sick right now because they whatever they're trying to manifest to keep your to get your person out of this hermit energy it's not working okay it's not working so take what resonates my collective wow this is a lot this is a lot. I swear, these Uno cards be telling a lot. Okay, so that's like three different scenarios on here. It's your girl, Unknown Goddess, y'all. I wish you love and light.